All right, guys. First time I had a blowout on this trailer was yesterday morning. It was dark and it was on a busy highway going about 60, 65. Luckily, I um, was able to keep it under control, pull over, and assess the situation. But I wanted to share at least some of the lessons learned. Number one, uh, obviously make sure your tires are good and air and all that was good. I'm a maintenance freak, so um, I have both of these tires were replaced at the same time, about two years ago, actually. So uh, the luckily I had a spare and went ahead and changed that out. A couple things, as you can see, the damage. It took out one of my marker lights here and also, of course, marked up side of the boat and bent the license tag, no big deal, I bent it back. But something to note, luckily, this is the positive uh, side of the lights as well as in the ground, um, ripped it out of there. But luckily this didn't touch on anything metal and uh, blow a fuse or anything like that, so that's good. Another thing, this jack that I had, this is my truck jack off of this Tacoma here, and um, couldn't get under the main axle because it was too low to the ground when I pulled over. So uh, I went ahead and used my truck jack to, to put it on the main frame, which again, you have to raise it a little bit extra, a few more inches to get because the leaf spring actually gives. So uh, it, it did take quite a bit of work to get that jack up that high. Just keep that in mind. If you haven't tried out a jack on your trailer, definitely try some things out because you may not be able to get under that main axle. So that's about from ground to top or the bottom of the trailer frame, that's about 18 to 19 inches uh, to be able to give you enough movement to get that wheel off, change that tire. So again, a couple tips, make sure your jack and everything works and works on your trailer. Make sure you have a spare, make sure the spare has good air this spare did have good enough air to get to the next gas station. So it was a little under, I don't know, probably 30 or 40 pounds of air in it. And I went ahead and filled it up to the, the 60, 65 that it needed. This this tire here, I'll have that changed out. Hopefully there's not too much damage on the, on the actual rim. It looks like it's a little bent, but we'll see. Uh, a couple other things. Again, sort of, I have my, mounted my spare here. So that was handy so if you if you do have you know if you don't have a spare on your boat please definitely put one on a couple other things make sure you have some gloves a tire iron and a headlamp and also would be nice to have would have been nice to have is a, a little knee pad something to kneel definitely have those extra items on hand so in any case that's what I had Wanted to share that experience with you. Hopefully this is helpful to somebody.